great. Okay, continue. Continue. I have to remember what I did to set this up. Oh, I think it was here. Yeah, you know, when I was on my own working, you know, I thought I had it and then, nah, I don't like it. So I pulled the whole thing back. And then even when I tried to redo it, I thought, oh, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have this yet. You know, so like, it's just practice. Um, yeah. So, okay, wait, let me go this way. Uh, you still can't see it probably. No, not yet. But you can angle, angle down a little bit more. Whoa, yeah. how did we got it? We had it last time, maybe like that. Then it's hard for me to see you, but you can. No, it's neat. Somehow I had this. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I like what's happening here. I, I like it better now. I mean, I, it was for me, it was a lot of practice of yeah. scripting and, you know, then I'd look at it and say, no, this is too much wax. And, so and then and then the heat gun so it feels smooth you know most of it that just the edges are a little that's okay the raggedy but that's okay yeah this feels smooth so so this is a whole new thing for me you know to have it and that's the way you've been encouraging us to work is to have have it smooth i but, like this smooth i mean to yeah. me i mean if you're going to use texture yeah, you no, know, it's gonna have a particular meaning. You need to like sort of think about like what does that texture mean, right. and, yeah. and you know how is it working for you? You know, like what what is it saying? You know, like. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, I wanted to have it really smooth and uh -huh. very subtle. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm open. I'm open to any whatever suggestions you have. Yeah. I think it's really beautiful. The only thing that I don't move it a little bit closer to your hands for me. The only thing that I don't love is that like this upper um, left corner is just how straight this note upper towards me. That's yeah. uh, this. Yeah. This is like do this dark line is like yeah. just a triangle there. Like I'm not sure why. Well, that is, it was I, I actually that's collage. I put down another piece. So mm -hmm. and I and at, at first I, I covered it up, and then when I'm scraping, I got it off. I thought, okay, I'll deal with it maybe in the painting or mm -hmm. you, you're talking about this line. This yeah, so I would think yeah. about like how maybe could you blend that? Like could you blend that? So if you heated up some more wax and you did another layer over top, just of so this one. Yeah, you would be. That's like we. You'd be blending that hard line. So should I have? I have um, some. No, uh, it's kind of clear mud. I mean, kind of whitish mud, or I have clear. So which one would be better for blend? Well, either one. And I don't really worry that much about the color of the wax because you're probably going to end up like tinting it anyway. The okay. the mud is going to be a little bit more opaque, less translucent. So you can go like right over that line. Okay. And then it's like, think about like, so for me at this point, I might start to be having like some type of vision about the piece. Like, so what I like about this corner is that I like that those flowers are behind and they're kind of like cloudy and not as visible. Whereas the ones in your lower right are lower right for me would be is that your that's lower left for you the lower lower more, left for you yeah, yeah these over so, here yeah those are cloudy but in the center those are sharper so that's mm -hmm. what i like is sort of that you're playing around with those sort of depth of field ideas mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. like blurry and sharp you know yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what what's going to pop out and i also like that it that i feel like you can really go into that piece in the center, right? That is like. Um, that's why I was, I was going to have a light, you know, have the light source of it, you know, kind of coming in here. This is kind of the, the most sharp. It isn't so sharp now, but that's the most sharp. And then this also visually, so the eye would be going in kind of here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's, Part of it is getting the smooth texture, but part of it also is working with that, um, you know, foreground, background, and the lighting. Yeah, so it's hard. It's hard. It's a hard piece for me, but I'm I'm enjoying it. I mean, 
So, okay, so let's see, I'm gonna put, this is, um, it's kind of a white, gray, and uh, would you do it as little dots like that or kind of a sweep here? Um, Rush. I would do it as a broken line, like a little on just to get just to, just to, you don't want this curve. I would do vertical, vertical lines up and down. This way. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and here's I, another question. You could question. go right over, and I, I would go a little bit longer. Okay, so, and, and you right, can go over. right over those flowers, because then you can okay. fuse it in. Yeah. Okay, um, so here's another question that comes up. Um, you know, when I'm, when I'm, I'm making- straight, I wouldn't go, yes, I would go straight up and down. Straight, okay. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. yeah. I don't want it over on that side, so I'll go here. And continue it here. Oops. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I like that. See, I would never have seen that. Okay, but I like that. That's I perfect. still see the line here. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then I would stop and then I would fuse it and see what happens when you fuse it. And I mean already it's better. Okay, wait. I've, I've got the heat gun as, as my anchor. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I can use this. Okay, hold on. I'll use my brush. <laughs> yeah, because one thing I really liked, well, I mean, there were a lot of things I liked, but starting it, when you had me do those strokes at the very beginning, I thought, oh, I never would have done that. I don't, I, I really like that. Okay, so fuse it. So one thing that is a question I have is when I'm making this the mud, you know, just from things like scrape that, how do I, is there a way to filter out kind of the junk? Sometimes there's junk in there. Yeah, you can, so the junk, it will fall, the junk is heavy and it'll fall to the bottom. To the bottom. And then do you and scrape you transfer it off? Pots. You just pour the wax out of one pot and into the other, and the oh, um, I see. Yep, and okay. the will fall to the bottom. Okay, this is nice. This is really smooth here. I think we'll stop. Yeah, that breaks up the line, doesn't it? And then I would, I'd scrape back some of this when it cools. Yeah, yeah. so I, so I don't can't see the I can't see but, the. No, Sorry. pull the other way. Pull towards you. Towards you. There's scissors now in front of the. Can you move the scissors? Yeah. That's what's waiting. The. I think the laptop got flipped up a little bit too. So then usually I go through this process. Like it's kind of like a one, two, three, one, two, three. So like I add a little wax, I fuse it, I scrape a little consistently a little every okay. single time. So you can okay. kind of, and I really, I even like the way that mud looks, kind of that light colored blue, it looks almost. Yeah. I think oh, it's really gray. Yeah, but, but I see where it's blue. Blue-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, so, so again, you're blending, you're adding, you're heating, you're blending. Yep, so a razor blade, scrape it in a little bit, and then let's look at it again. Okay. And so then this, what, is, this is what I was practicing with a lot, because the most of the time before this i've been using like the wooden uh things for but this was good practice with the razor and going gently not overdoing it really right and you don't always have to razor in the same direction too so think about razor no, it doesn't have to be or with turning the, the piece yeah okay yeah i mean this is Oops, there's a little junk here. This is really, oh, I see this flower coming up. Now, I don't want to do too much there because that's where the line is. So I'm going to try to avoid that a little bit. You know, this is, it's so basic, you know, so I was rushing ahead doing stuff and this is really good to get back to this very basic because you kept talking about scraping and because of the temperature in the winter it, I, I just couldn't do it but this is really nice mm -hmm. feels good mm -hmm. 
yeah, yeah. And it might just take because it's warm it might take a little bit longer for the wax to like clear completely you know like unbloom itself but um it will oh so it comes off a little um more opaque when it's when it's cold uh, warmer and then yeah will... yeah it takes a little bit longer for it to like cool and clear so I can still see the line here. So I'm trying to stay away from that line. I want to bring this okay, flower. Right, and try turning it again and maybe doing that. Yeah. Right. I don't want to get into that, the line. Let's see. And you don't need to do too much, just a little bit. Yeah, OK. So I can, uh, from where I am, I can still see the line, but I have to look for it more. Right, so, that, so that's okay. Like, that's okay. Like veiling something underneath is okay. And like have, you don't, it's like, it's not a necessity to get rid of it. It's just trying to obscure it and make it, down. Yeah. Yeah. Make it a little bit softer. Mm. Mm hmm okay. There's a lot of wax here. I'm just gonna see if I can smooth this out. And then I'll put the heat gun off. Okay. Oops, there's this stuff. Now Yeah, and then so sometimes after I razor blade, I do use the heat gun a little bit just to um you yeah, know if have any I see, razor marks. Yeah. I see yeah. the little edges. Okay. Yeah, if you if you have little nicks or razor marks. <laughs> That's a big, oh no, I got that one, okay. There's a bubble over here, is that good? Oops, I see some more. Okay, wait, what are you gonna, what's, I can't see the pill. Yeah. Okay. okay, so yeah. there's a, like a little hole over here. There's okay, so we talked about how to fill the hole, right? So it's also, do you see, yeah. wait, Pam, you made like a um, blister. I always call them blisters. Uh -huh. So you use the heat gun too much in one location and it made like a crater and then you have an edge. Do you see that? Uh, I see. Yeah, I see. right there where your finger was. Yeah, you yeah, just, I see yeah that. right there. So you can just razor blade that out. And if you want to fill the hole, just pick up the brush and drop a drop of wax in the hole and close the hole. Don't, you know, none of these things, need, you don't need to panic about them. They're all just like, if you want to change them, I mean, sometimes. I kind of, actually, I kind of like the whole, but that's just, yeah. just to remind me. Okay, so I am going to um, scrape here, this area, because, yeah, I see the blister. I see what you're saying. Look at this. Oh. So sometimes when you hold the heat gun, it's like still on one spot. It just gets intense and it makes like a Too little, much. it's literally like a moon crater. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I, I kind of. And it kind of just makes like a, a circle with a ring around it. And then if that happens, just don't panic. Just take the razor blade and just smooth out the sides of the circle. Mm. I just think that those marks like that are too obvious, like heat gun mistakes. You know what I mean? It's just like, right. they're, yeah. and they're not pretty, like they're not attractive. Well, and then I see razor marks here. Now this, I don't think this is right, But some of the razor marks too, you can use your fingertip and actually kind of like rub them and close them. I see my fingerprints. No, no, don't just rub like, no, not rub like that. Just rub side to side, like your uh, right side to side. Actually use the friction of your hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you don't want to push your finger. You had mentioned that, okay. Yeah, yep. I haven't really done it. Okay, now these drops it seems awfully big. <laughs> nope, they're fine. And then you can use the razor blade or a pottery tool to yeah, shave them off. But you want to make sure that you're not like you want to make sure that the, the wax has gone into the hole. So you don't want to be like you don't want to push them off too aggressively. Mm -hmm. Pushing. Oops. Oops. 
I had problems with doing this type of thing with the the um, the girl with the orchids in the water. I just, oh my gosh, that was, I, I don't like where it is right now, but we'll talk about it. Um, yeah, we can. we can talk about whatever you want. So yeah. yeah. And like when the wax, so, so there's a fun, I think there's like what I call like an interim period with the wax mm -hmm. where it's like kind of warm and it's kind of like moldable. Mm -hmm. Like you can like, Mm -hmm. it and sort of reapply it and I think you can get some I interesting techniques that way where you're sort of like lifting it and putting it back on the surface you know I think what I was doing before was a, it was a very hot day and I wasn't allowing it to cool enough and then it would just lift you know it was, uh, it was just uh it was a mess oh. I, it, there was one day that was great for scraping and there was another day it was like Oh, this is horrible. Yeah. But, okay. Well, too, sometimes those days too, it can be like, you don't, might not even be aware of it, but it could be like, you know, your, your patience level. Well, that's you know, it's like, like, I always think, you know, some days I'm just a better painter. Like whether I'm just like more, you almost kind of need to be aggressive in a way, you know, you have to have self-confidence and a sort of, um, an ease to painting, like if you're second guessing what you're doing all the time, it does make it challenging. And I think, I think I see that a little bit in you sometimes where you're not, not that you're not enjoying it, but that you're second guessing yourself and you've got to kind of let that go. Yeah. And I, and it's almost, like, well, I want to, I, I want to get this done. And then I, it's sort of like a, a will thing. Yeah. It's not relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, yeah. You gotta, you gotta do what you do and then like be like willing to process it. You know, it's like, I've been thinking about this a lot, even for like my teaching practice mm -hmm. with kids is that I, I want to make the art more accessible. So I want to make it less mm -hmm. about some ideal, mm -hmm. ideal vision of perfection or mm -hmm. outcome. And I want to make it more about the process. Yeah. So I think for you too, part of, you know, part of you really wants to just be with the wax and be into it and enjoy it. But because of your education and your intellectual ability, you're also judging it. Oh, absolutely. There's a <laughs> other you, part of you understand like, you know, editing and work and like, you know, all of those other aspects yeah. of making and creating, but you have to kind of allow yourself to just do it because you enjoy doing it and worry less about what it looks like. Well, I think, I think also for me, a lot of it is saying, okay, that's it for today. I'm going to put it down and look at it another day. Hey, sometimes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you'll know, you'll know, or you'll begin to know when you're done, like, you know, energetically, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, you'll know when you're, when it's time to quit. And okay. also you sometimes get, I often think that when you're tired or you've worked on something for a little while, your judgment gets. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Now I've made a big mess here, but I've smoothed out that hole. I will keep All right, that. But there's the judgment saying it's a mess, but maybe it's actually really beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Mean, oh, maybe that, 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 you maybe that could be another flower there. Oh, okay. Let's see. What Great. Means. So you have to remember that you're working with an imperfect medium, right? The wab, you know, totally imperfect medium, wabi sabi. Don't forget the wabi sabi, right? The beast. And so you sort of have, you have to remember to embrace the imperfections and maybe start to, you know, change the way you're thinking about them and be like, oh, it's actually really beautiful. it's a certain getting used to really understanding what the wax looks like you know mm. now i've got another blister over here so i'll wait i'll let it cool for a bit i've got one here and yeah but i don't want to put it i don't want to put in my heat so i'll wait and i'll scrape that a little bit okay do you see can you see that i don't know if you can see it I said, I've got another blister here, this whole area and this area. 
and there are, there are holes coming up here. So I, I'll smooth it down after it cools a little bit. So I think honestly, or just leave the holes. I think honestly, yeah. Okay. I would just I would just leave them for now or repair them. Drop little, you know. No, drop... it, they're not that kind of holes. Actually, I kind of like them. Are they like air bubbles? Yeah, a little air here. I don't. You may not even see them. Da, 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 I don't know. Da. Like if they're if they're little things, maybe they're just like yeah, maybe they're nice. Or you can do what we did the last time, where you drop the wax in there. Okay. Uh, little droplets, just let it sit, and then just scrape gently with the razor blade. Okay, I think I will. Um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm just gonna leave this now, but I this I will scrape back a little bit. All right. So this line is obscured now. I'm okay, still, are you happier with it? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I really didn't like that because okay. I knew what it was. <laughs> yeah. That's the collage line. So if you feel like you are happy with the wax surface, you know, there's always, then you've got to like, then you can switch gears and start painting it. Okay. Are you happy with the wax surface? I am, except for right here. So pull it down a little bit. I can't see that part. Pull it so. towards you. There's a little blister. This is uneven here. Okay. So you smooth it with a razor blade or add more wax. So those are your choices. So add, yeah. so when you, when you don't like something, you have two choices, addition and subtraction. And you know what? Subtraction in a weird way is, I mean, it's kind of like, you have to be careful that you don't just always choose subtraction. Okay. You have to remember that you can add more too, right? So going over it, I think sometimes this feels more blended in though, because I can get down to the that yellow that's underneath. I like that better. Okay. All right. Okay. Painting time. Yeah, if you're happy with the surface, you feel like there's enough wax and you're liking the textures and you like the way it looks overall, I think you can start painting it. Okay. Okay. So you can go two ways. You can start with um, the light colors or I sometimes put the darks in first. Oh, okay. So, and then paint to light because if you put the light colors in first then and then you add darks, then they get muddy. Yeah, okay, so for this, so for the encaustic, it's better to start with the light colors and then the dark, but for the painting, you, you start with the dark and then start doing like highlights of yeah light. Yeah, because of the way, I think that, yeah, I don't like, I don't, I don't like dark colors on the base coats of my encaustic, but mm -hmm. I like to start pigment sticks with the dark colors. Okay. But sometimes I'll paint like in a three point gradient where I'll have on my wax palette, I'll have a color, then a color with white and a color with black. Right. I tried. Yeah. I tried doing that with this, like I had the blue and then I had white there and yeah. Yeah, because okay. I like to start thinking about highlights and shadows very early on. Okay. And like for now, for this piece, like I don't know how much you need, like, so you're painting for two reasons. One of the reasons you're painting with the pigment sticks is to kind of show off the texture that you have. Mm -hmm. And then another reason that you're painting is to kind of like pop some highlights forward, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. So do the okay. dark groundwork first to set like the background. Okay. So that could be like your Payne's gray, if you want to do gray or blue, you do have the opportunity to sort of change your color palette here. So you could be using browns or purples or gray, whatever colors you want. I would like to get a third color and I don't want brown, but um, a little- Third color could be orange or yellow or red. Okay. Also yeah. green, you could put some green in there. Is that- I don't know. Okay, so I've got I've got my um, wax paper, and I'll make my little palette. This I also have a, a yummy magenta. I don't know if that would work. What is this? It's magenta, magenta. Okay, so I have the yellow. So maybe like an Indian yellow it has orange in it. Nice and yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, I love that. I love that 
transparent Indian yellow is like my favorite color. Oh, I just, yeah, it's really cool. I also have this, um, I might mix it in with a little bit of this Mars red because I wanted to have a, I have a little bit of that. Okay, so that, and then either go with the, some of the blues or, well, let me get the paints gray because it all has the. Yeah, and then you can mix the paints gray together with like blue or green. I mean, those are, that, I mean, those, those pigment sticks mix well with everything. I also kind of like the neutral gray because the paint gray can be really kind of dark. I kind of like the neutral gray. It's uh, yeah. the oh, graphite. Graphite gray. I love graphite gray. Okay, let's because oh, I love graphite gray. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh my God. But maybe either a touch of green or a touch of blue. Let's see. Blue, 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 blue. I see this piece is more blue and gold. Yeah. Yeah. Any other color? I mean. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, uh, I think I was using what well, I can't pronounce it. The Fallow, fallow blue. Oh, fallow blue is beautiful. Yeah, I kind of like what was happening with it. Okay, I'll mix. Okay, so now one thing, oh, oh no, it's warm enough so I can, ooh. So you can make, you, do you make a little palette? I usually yeah, I've got my wax paper. I'm making my palette now. Yeah, and then you can put a little mixture on there. You know, the other thing is, um, Okay, sometimes they're so dried out because we're it's so dry here in the desert, but it's okay. All right, so those are the bluish ones. Yeah. I've got the got the yellow. And after the sticks are drying out, you can just cut the cut them off. But, yeah. Oh, this take a little off. palette knife or a razor blade and just cut the end off. Cut some, it's dry. Okay. Sometimes also I just put them on the hot plate just to. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit. Okay, got that. So I want to have some white, also to, some blender and some white. I'm getting there. It's happening. <laughs> I'm getting there. Oh, that right, so I paint in two ways. Sometimes I put the pigment stick directly onto the piece, and sometimes I, you know, paint with my a brush or my finger. Right. So um, I think some of it depends on the detail, like that I want. And yeah, it depends if I'm doing like a background or if I'm doing a deep, like a right, like a something specific. But I like having both of those types of line of okay. piece so that it's something like more broader and more general versus something specific. So it goes back to all the conversations we've already been having. It was the same with the wax, you know, is it like thicker or thinner, right? So is it is it like loose or tight, you know? So you want both. I like both types of line and the pieces. So it, it seems to me that I should start with the background and then and then start putting detail in is that I would is start that... with the background yep the outside edges and work towards the center because that's also the way the, the piece is set up right so okay. it's like you have these sharp and also think about like depth of field and then wax it's like what you have that's recognizable you know versus what you have that's um you know blurry versus sharp Okay, hold on, hold on a second. I want to, um, so I've been using different, I've been using different brushes for, for the pick and stick as opposed to the encaustic. Is that right? Yeah, you can't use the same brushes for right. okay. so I, I did get that thing. Well, so, the encaustic brushes are too are so are stiff. Well, and if I just use kind of the cheaper brushes for the encaustic because it's going <laughs> to, they're just going to get ruined. 
Um, all right, so this is, so I'm going to mix the, I'm going to get my, the blue that I want. Let's see if I can. Actually, this that looks a lot. Of, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. I mean, if I were you, I would probably take some pigment stick and just rub it around the outside. Oh, okay, that and, makes it easier. Yeah, that would make it a lot easier. Just take the pigment just, stick itself and rub it on there instead of on the palette. Okay. I would so, just rub it right on the piece. Okay, so I'm going to start with the blue and then I'll put gray over it. Oh, yeah, put a couple dabs, like kind of like when you put makeup on, you know, you put like it and then you rub it into your cheek. I don't do makeup. I don't know makeup. Uh, well, okay, they are done. You can watch some TikTok video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? Now I could blend it in like with um, a towel or something. Paper towel, yeah, paper towel. And okay. if you have a, a blending stick or a mixing stick, you can add a little bit of that. Yeah, I do have some of that. I can, I'll throw that in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This should be fun. I just have trouble, especially the, the woman with the flowers. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't do this anyway. Yes, you can. Don't, we don't use those. No, words. no. Well, it was part of it was um, I just thought, well, I'll just take her hand out. <laughs> I, just, mm -hmm. I, don't, I can't draw to save myself. Um, but this is fun doing it like this. I like this a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'll go get the paper towel. Paper towel. Okay, I've got blending. I've got the graphite gray blending stick, and just start rubbing it on the circle. Okay. Yeah, rubbing around in a circle and just slowly. Mm -hmm. looks, it looks more gray than blue, but there is a lot of, yeah, I'll put some. Well, you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you I'll can just take the color after you kind of have it. Mm -hmm. And I always go into the areas that I don't even necessarily want it because I just want it to look blended. You can yeah, blend you it. Can pull it back. Oops, that's a yeah. I'm not sure that. Oh, this is so much easier. I was trying to figure out how am I going to do? Because I have another thing of, um, well, I, I was just playing with painting flowers from scratch without having a photograph. Uh -huh. Just to get, just to play around with it. So I have, yeah, that's flowers, a idea. but I don't have a background. So now I have to go back. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I have to put a layer of wax over. The flowers and then then put the back i went backwards on it then put the background in mm. does that sound like a possibility to do that i'd have to see it maybe okay. so you're still being like so yeah you're, you're still being a little bit too too shy about those those edges that you're making yeah. like i would make it go yeah go into those other areas yeah a little yeah. bit wider go further than you're comfortable into this yeah <laughs> I don't want to go into the yellow. I like the yellow. Yeah, but it's not going to, you can clear it. You, Yeah, it's just going to look more, it looks so much better already. Stop making those hard lines, blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to, un, you're uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> well, so much better. Oh my God. Yes, much better. Beautiful. Oh my God, beautiful. This is scary. <laughs> it's really, really, really pretty because you're just going to paint right over them. You're just going to paint right over those. Okay. I mean, right. okay. So now if there's like, that's beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It really is such a pretty piece. I love it. All right. So as far as I'm concerned, you could add a couple little tints to that blue, right? Just dog them, dog them on like with a brush. Yeah, if you want to add, if you want to make one part like grayer or greener, oh, I see. just okay. with your finger, just with your finger, like, oh. like I love it. Turn it around to face me. Hold it in front of your chest. Flip it. Oh my god, I think it's so pretty. I, I it's like so pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so. <clears throat> The, I mean, technically, like even in a weird way, 
you could just add a little white to the flowers and be done. Like this piece is so strong. It's already like working so well in so many ways. And the thing that is really nice too, is that you're not struggling. Like you, I mean, maybe you did a little bit last week, like when I wasn't there, but like really this piece has been very like easy breezy and it's so pretty. I mean, really pretty. All right, so what color is that, gray? This is the gray, so. So mm. where do you want that? Why don't I have the, more of the blue here and then get some gray on the corners or just one area of gray? Um, I I would say you could do your lower uh, right here left corner, is that your? My lower left. Yeah, your lower left a little bit. And then I would actually put not, the gray not so much on the blue, but like, do you see the center? Yeah. Yeah, like a but like at the top where it's kind of darker. I would put the gray in there, like closer oh, to the down the blue a little bit. Yeah. Up here. And just put a couple drops in there and then just spread it out either with your finger or the paper towel. Well, this is fun finger painting. Yeah, I finger paint all the time. Then, uh, now, is there um like a health issue? I mean, do you do you have to worry about? I would. I mean, you could wear a little. You could wear latex gloves if you were worried. But I. I mean, I, I, I just paint with those all the time. Okay. All right. So this is more mixed in. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe get a little bit more of this off. That was I put a lot on. Yeah. Okay, so now I think you just went a little too heavy. So now you have to take it back. And don't feel like that's fine. I like the gray. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I agree. I, I felt you started good. to form a shape. Like you just don't want to form a shape. You want this to be just like tinted, like jungle, like, right? So it's because the photo and the collage, like the underneath is giving you like information. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, I think that's nice. I think that's much better. Yep. Okay. Yep. That mm -hmm. whatever like kind of interesting shape appeared over there in that corner is nice. Yep. Yeah, I like it. And that's the yep. corner. That, is that the corner with no, this is the one with the line. Okay. All right. Now I want to pull back so I see more of the flower. Uh, and also no, I don't think you want to do anything. You want I think you just want to paint on top. So think about layering. You don't need to change okay. anything to add a layer. So I would start to maybe add your light colors now. If you feel like you have enough dark colors, you okay. could add your light colors. So you could so here, here's a question. This is kind of modeled, which has its own interest. It's not blended in this area here. You see that? Uh -huh. So I just work with that. Just keep that. Oh, the gray. Yeah, blend that in. No, I thought you were done blending. Blend it in. Okay. It's kind of a blue gray. I just didn't yeah, know if that's yeah. that's cool to have those more sort of, sort of like um, I don't know. Okay. And there's some more here. Oh no! I don't want to go in the yellow. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're gonna put yellow over. It's okay. You okay. want it, it's like think about weave. You want this under and over. Yeah, under. It's okay. All right. It's not, it's not like tainted. It's not ruined. It's not hurt tainting. Okay. All right. So now I now I work with the. Um, I would work with your yellow or greens if you want to do yellow. I've, or green. I've got the yellow. It's pretty strong. I could tone it down. Just put a little bit in and spread it out. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Okay, put it here. Just put a little bit in and spread it out. Nice and a little bit down in the bottom. Down here. Yep. And more to the left. Yep. And then even on top of the blue, a little bit blending into the blue, even in the darkness, over to the corner a little bit. Yep. Oh gosh, this is so different. Yep. Oh cool. Yep. Okay, that's enough. Okay. All right. Stop. Paper towel and sort of rub it off. Okay. Rub it in, rub it off. So rub it off where the white flower is or rub it, you know, rub it back. I mean, not completely, yeah. 
but like, yeah, nice. Yeah, good. Yeah. And just rub it so it's like blending more in with those blues. Now I can see where the, I didn't melt this down here. I can see the texture. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I did the heat, that, okay. Just fine. Okay. I like to leave. I mean, that's what we want texture and you want interesting things on your surface. Okay. It's just like a totally different way of seeing. <laughs> I didn't have to put well, think about spy think about a spiral right so if you're spiraling from outside in that's kind of what you're doing so you're spiraling these colors and you're you're okay. leaving them together and then at the end like the inside core you're going to pull just your highlights or your most specific details right okay okay you're doing kind of all this like general outside work and then you're going to spiral into so should I have one more? I, I've been noticing the threes. Like, should I have one more yellow over here somewhere? Or? Yeah, no, I kind of like the three. I wouldn't put any okay. over there. No, I kind of like it. If okay. you wanted to add like some green, like to suggest leaves, right? Instead of just flowers, you could add the green now. You could kind of put it in specifically, you know, I'm seeing it uh, in the lower right corner, some green or, you know, on top of the blue somewhere. Where is it? Where's the green? I have the lower right would be here. My lower yeah, right? Yeah, maybe there's some green leaves down there. Okay. Where's the green? Green. Hey, green. Oh, it's under here. So, you're saying down in that area. Yeah. Now the other thing, and I don't want to do stencil on this, but the other thing would be to do some stenciling. No, I don't think you need any stencil. I no, would, no. But I would I have did. done if you were going to do stenciling. I would have done it for when you did the waxing. Before the wax, oh. I would have done it with the waxing. I wouldn't have done pigment sticks and then stenciled. I do yeah, all. Right. I do all the waxing and stenciling and everything. So here's a sap green. Yeah, I like the sap and green. I'll put, I'll put a little gray. I'll, this is really you just put it on your finger and put it right on the piece. It's all it's all dried out. I have to melt it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's too it's too hard. Come on. Okay, let's see. Ooh. And a little bit of gray. Don't make it too dark. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit goes a long way. And then maybe just use your finger and pick up a little bit of that and spread it somewhere else, like over along the vertical side on your, yeah, maybe somewhere in there, those leaves back there, or maybe somewhere even on, put it that big yellow circle, put a little bit of green somewhere. Yeah, and to suggest some flowers behind. Yeah, little, little, yeah, little. A little bit and little on the, yep. Okay, that was too much. I can pull it back. No. Oh. Don't use a Q tip. Oh, God, no. No, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Okay. Just you're going to get all that. Lit. I hate Q tip. I would never use a Q tip. I feel like all that fuzz is just going to come right off into the, it's just going to stick to the uh, pigment stick. Okay. I mean, if anything, use a dry brush. If you want to use something okay. to like, Use a dry, clean brush, clean okay. brush. Okay, so the green is like not, you made it too like blobby. So we gotta break it up. It wasn't supposed to be like atmospheric. It's supposed to be like a leaf. So, yep, and you might, yep. So just break it up. So it just looks, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be like. Yeah, like a. Like little leaves that you're kind of popping in there. Like, and sometimes I just put like, I even just use my finger and I just put like a fingerprint in there and then I just blend out my fi actual fingerprint, right? I'm not seeing it. So maybe add a little bit more blue over top of that if it got too green. If you like it, I mean, it's, 
I know. Let me go a little bit, and I want to pull out the highlight a little bit. Okay. Right, uh, now, oh, 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 I just found something cool under there. Okay. So I can see, kind of see the stroke still, but I'm seeing yeah, like some like blend. green in there. Yeah, it's different. Let's just go to the white, because we have like 10 more minutes. I just want to oh, see okay. you add the, so yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, I think you could tweak it. I would make the center of that. So I would put a little bit of white in the center of that yellow. Yeah, so that it's not all the same color. And that would suggest like light coming through as if the yellow had, you know, like um, a backlight. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's it. And then blend it in. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll try it. And then a little bit of white in some of those flowers. And you can go right on top of the yellow, right on top of the blue, right? Yep. You can go, yep. And just a little bit, just a little bit. Yep. And then blend with either a brush or your finger. And this is sort of like the magic. You know, it's just like, you know, I hate to talk about like pastries, but it's like, you know, they just wouldn't look the same without their decorations, right? Without their powdered <laughs> sugar. Right, so I think of this white as being a very, you know, special um, sort of finishing touch that mm -hmm. it goes on there and it's sort of sacred and you blend it accordingly. Like you take it down and combine it, you know, with whatever color needs it, right? This looks a little mushy. I don't, I don't, I'm not liking this one, but I'm getting too finicky about it. Okay. Now, do I blend this in or just like- Yeah, I would dab it a little bit off. I think it's like too much white. It's too much there. Use the paper towel and remove some of it. It's just too much. Okay. Yep, you just need, yep, and then blend that in. Blend that in so it doesn't look just like a hole in a donut. Yeah, so you can blend it so it looks natural. I mean, then that's just so much more organic and beautiful. I mean, this is so much more like, like um, ethereal and soft than anything else you've done. Well, that's, well, yeah. that's yeah. do you I liked it? it? Do you like? I mean, this is. Do you I like do. it? I do. I love the underpainting, and then yeah. this whole way of painting it is so different. It's like I do. And this is what I want to be working on more. It's okay. I have another picture ready to go, where I want to practice what I've learned in this one. Right. Okay. Well, the other thing was the th other thing that was interesting for me is when I took the picture, I was looking for something where I could have the foreground back. You know, I wanted that was very intentional. So it's changing the way I take pictures too. Yeah. Well, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah. I feel that same way. I feel like the more I know about what I want to do with encaustic painting, the yeah. more changes my photography and then I feel like they're working more together yeah than working against each other right and it's like we know in life and in politics and everything that when things are working against each other nobody moves forward <laughs> that's true okay no I do like this okay so after after we're finished, I'll use the heat gun lightly on it to fuse it in. You do not use need to use the heat gun at all. If the heat gun is messing up your work or it's causing okay. you stress or you don't really love it, don't use it. No, this but I'm just dry. Saying, for this one to finish it, do I no, need No, it'll dry naturally all by itself. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You don't have to heat gun anything, no. Oh, right. Only your layers of encaustic to encaustic. So, and then you can continue to kind of like play around with tinting. So, so you see the flower, not the yellow flower, but this one right here, like not the yellow one. Yeah, that one. Like That's you right. could paint those, but don't paint I love them. This, I love this or this kind of orangey stuff I have in here. Okay, I, so I kind of like that. Yeah. Then just leave them. And so, but you could paint them like light blue or light orange. Like they don't all have to be white flowers because yeah. even outside, like white flowers aren't always just white because of the way the light is reflecting off of them, yeah. right? Or the yeah, or the way the light is moving around. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I totally, I mean, that's the other thing you've helped me see is how the light bounces around and reflects the colors. So right. 
Cool. Okay. Yeah, I do like this. I'm so happy. Are you happy? I, I am. I, I don't feel like, you know, there's probably like this. I think I might tone down a little bit. I mean, I'll well, you know what I would do with that is I would add a little white to those little oh. flowers and blend it in with the blue and it'll just make it a really pretty blue, light blue. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're using your underpainting and your top painting to kind of merge together and you know that's the weaving that you're talking about it, yeah so you're using things that you did in the past with something that you're adding in the future to like just work together yeah yeah cool so good yeah you could and you could add you could make a yellowy white you could make an orangey yellow you know you could make other colors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay in there you could make a brownie white like you know, they don't all have to be just bright white. You can take that white and add a, like a little bit of that red to it and make like a, a nice orange or peach. You know, you could add some other very, very soft accenty yeah. colors. Nothing like, you know, pure, nothing opaque, nothing strong. We're not yeah. trying to be heavy handed here. We're just trying to suggest, yeah, yeah. yeah suggest some other um, color palettes. Okay, so I have, but I have to be careful not to overdo it because then I, I get, I said, oh, I it's a very little, like very little, like a drop, like a dot, one second rule. And then, you know, maybe it's a good time to stop. It's almost, you know, maybe this is a good place to stop and take some pictures of it with your okay. iPhone, play around within your phone. I think a little bit of the Mars red would do you some good. I'm, I'm, that's and what I, I'm putting in now. Putting yes, in and I think that if you if you add it into some of those yellow areas, it'll make like a nice orange. Yeah, okay. Because I love those. And actually, it's funny, like I don't buy orange paint. I tend to like make all my yeah, orange you, paint. You make your own. I yes. make my own oranges because I honestly don't like love most of the, shades and colors of the orange paint that they make mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i don't really know how to use it but i do know how to make it which is funny it's just like kind of a little quirk i have mm -hmm. but almost <laughs> like my favorite color i think is definitely like the colors of like a good peach that has like you know a good, yeah. good peach will have like kind of almost a red in it and an orange and like a really pale pale uh like nude color you know what i mean mm -hmm. Those are my colors. Those are my favorite colors. And I, but I, I like and I like gradients of color. I like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm this and I like colors that are mixed together and made by mixing other colors together. Cool. Very cool. So I'll play with it. Okay. I'm so happy with your paint. I mean, you were very relaxed today. You know, it was like we you know we got rid of we got kind of blended out that one hard line. You know. I mean, mm -hmm. I think this piece is very, very pretty, really lovely. Sweet. Yeah, I, this part I, still bothers me where I had the blistering, but if you think it's, I don't have to do anything with this part right here. I mean, I think that that's it's just wa wax texture and I don't, it doesn't bother me. I mean, you're gonna notice it cause you are yeah. more aware of it. But I is mean, it? at this point, if you scrape it you're gonna cause yourself a lot more damage. Honestly, right. what you could do is fuse that area and maybe put another little coat of wax over it rather than try to scrape it back because I think yeah. you're going to cause yourselves you're so causing don't, yourself more don't, problems. Don't fuse the whole thing. Just there, kind of let it smooth it out of it and just stop. I, I, yeah, yeah, or add another layer of wax over it. Okay, thank you. Okay, and, yeah. then, blend, and then you can blend again. Okay, so... um. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm just gonna be away. Wait, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be.